TV is about to get more exciting as the series title always is as finally premiered. Check this out. After weeks of lights, camera, and action, the cast and crew members of the romantic drama, Oasis, have gathered again. This time, it's to usher the drama series to the screens. This is what we're doing. It's called, it's not for every member. It's a drama that talks about math, God, and everything. Please, can I just continue? Fast rising, talented actor, Sean Fakwa, plays lead alongside fellow budding act Beverly Nanya in this romantic campus drama. You will be the first girl in this campus to say no to my request. Please, I don't want to continue this conversation. This is an amazing story and very well told as well. Um, it's a story of, you know, how uh, typical Nigerian universities can be and all the, you know, things that happen there that a lot of people, a lot of parents and like that, you know, and then, um, it's something that will make you understand what your child is going through and how to address such issues as a parent and also for a child or, or, or a student to know how to go through the life in the university and outside of it and the proportion of the actions that we take as well. I didn't see a friend of mine in the next building and I knew you'd be here so I thought of popping to congratulate you. I hope you're from the beauty pageant. Oh, yeah, she did. I hope <laughs> everyone wants a beauty contest to show you the natural queen. <laughs> No, no. I really don't want to do things like that. I just feel like a Christian should, you know, just just not get involved with things like that. We are raising a new generation of stars in Nigeria. And you see them in overseas from Sean Fakwa, Dr. Tegila, who is only won the best award in Africa. Um, Moet Abebe, Mori Mokonfa, um, Mary Jane Ubuaja. You are going to be seeing a new world of stars that Nigerians will admire and adore. That's what we do. We believe in bringing new people, showing new talents, showing that they can do it. And that's what you see in Oasis. When you were coming here, do you think you were coming to play Scrabble? Now lie down. But you'll be dead in one minute. Lie no! down, lie down, lie down, lie down, dear. Supporting cast David Naji plays a ruthless cultist. He had to dig deep to portray a character that is a far cry away from who he is in person. So I've come to tell you that I I want to pass the test we're having next week Monday, but I'm not prepared. But I'd like to pass. Pass? Yes, sir. When do you mean like to pass? Well, I mean you should um just call me like. 50% or 60. What kind of thing is this? What kind of demand is this? If you read, you'll pass. If you don't, you'll fail. Also, as it is, I might be traveling. My father is not feeling quite well. And um, I just, I may, I may travel. You may travel? Are you a doctor? So I leave that to me. I would um, just like for you to help me. Please help me, sir. Make sure I pass. Guys, let's go. They gave me a challenging role. It wasn't the lead character, but it was hugely challenging to be um, something that um, people are afraid to depict. You know, so when I read it, I was sold to it. When I went away, came back, did a couple of readings, saw the amazing people he, he cast for the film. I was like, okay, why not? I had a Catholic interest for it immediately. Um, I noticed that um, it has a moral, a moral backbone, which is something we entertainers shy away from now, musically, uh, movie-wise. We like to do what we, uh, what the whites call art for art's sake, yeah. without really taking a message with it. Which, for me, is good if you want to make money, but if you really want to leave your footprint in the sand of time, you have to use what you have, which is our art and our sake. When you come to this house, you obey simple instructions. Don't tell me you're going to embarrass me here. I didn't expect it. We embarrass you? Well, you're the one trying to embarrass us in our own house. You guys give the impression that you're civilized people. So what then do you want to harass again in your midst? Are you mad? 
please speak English to us. What do you take us for? Listen, listen. Let me tell you guys something. You can kill me here, but you will go scot free. I promise you that. I come from a very serious background. And if anything happens to me, my parents will come after you guys. I'm very serious. Will you shut up? Said you. Stupid girl. I'm going to that room right now. And if you do not get into that room right now, something bad will happen to you. Silly. I play Okunle, um, Paris's mom. Paris is the lady that was violated. Um, and I had to be a pillar of strength for her. She, even when she lost her track and did, 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 um, did, denounced God, I had to bring her back. They were not me, but I had to, you know. Innocence is a sequel to the critical acclaimed Heaven's Gate. The faith-based drama series chronicles the plight of a young girl through a notorious Nigerian university and life after the trauma experienced on campus. Gosh, are you okay? Who are those guys now? I don't know where they were off. We always have special people on our spotlight segment, and it's no different this week. Here's singer Inka Nathan. Inka Nathan is your girl next door singer, artist, entertainer, and business person. I was born and bred in the north, Kaduna precisely. I grew there, I schooled there, nursery, primary, secondary, until I went to uni dress for a diploma and then the University of Oyo to get a degree. And here I am in Lagos today. I've been singing, would I say professionally, for about 11 years now. I started precisely 2003 in the university, I used to sing uh, with one of the major bands in Akwaibom then, because I schooled in Uniu, like I told you, Federal University of Uyo, Akwaibom. Uh, it used to be called the Sonax Band. Professionally, as a, a solo artist, I just like started this about two, three years or so now. For those of us that are trying to come up now, you have so much challenges to overcome. I'm talking about the challenges of time, uh, content, uh, finance. You can name them, they're innumerable, but by and by, if you're strong at heart and you know what you want, you'll get there. I'm on the way already. I'm coming. <laughs> music I sing, Zinka Newton, is uh, more like Afro pop, R&B. But originally I tend to be a soul singer because that's where I find my most inspiration and comfort. <laughs> my single album playing on air is titled Your Love. I actually featured uh, Terry G in the video, and it's a simple song uh, talking about love in its pure form. Just a young guy and a girl who are in, in love, and maybe the, the, the boyfriend is like uh, always um, jealous when he sees maybe a male folk coming close. I'm just talking about love, just basically love between two adults, that's it. <laughs> Songs that are not out yet, they were based on um, true life experiences, but most of them are just from imagination, inspiration. I like to write about things that I feel. 
at a particular point in time, or things that I see, I mean, or something could just come to my mind, a particular thing, uh, a particular, um, uh, maybe an idea could come into my mind and I just decide to write a song about it. Working with Terry G was fun. Believe you me, you have to meet Terry G. What you see on stage or in the video is a totally different personality from the Terry G that you see off stage, backstage, or whatever you want to call it. Terry G is um, a down to earth, easy going guy. <laughs> never see Yinka Newton nude. No, it's a no-no for me. And uh, the Yinka Newton seated here in the next few years should be global, not just intercontinental.